most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Nancy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that Nancy, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our earthly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For we, for seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And please stand. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to his apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us express in a safe way the sign of peace to one another. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring everlasting life to those who receive it. Communion these days is a little different if you haven't been able to return back to church. Communion is for those who are Catholic, and primarily those who are practicing Catholics, who attend church and participate in the faith. We welcome everyone who is here today who is not Catholic, but please remember, communion is for those who are Catholic. As you come up to communion, um, keep your mask on. We've heard that enough these days. 
and extend your hands and as I say the body of Christ you'll say amen and receive communion and then step off to the side continue looking forward and lower your mask and receive communion okay sound good Lord Jesus Christ son of the living God who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins, from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments. Never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body and blood, food for the journey of life, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Nancy may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. There's a very special prayer in the church that takes place at the funeral before everyone leaves for the cemetery, known as the prayer of final commendation. In a sense, it is a prayer of farewell. It is also a prayer of thanksgiving. As we offer this prayer today, we give thanks for Nancy's life, and I ask you, to grab up all of those joys and sorrows that you hold in your heart, and as we offer them, lift those to the Lord as a farewell to Nancy in thanksgiving. Again, it's a farewell. She remains with you, her spirit, and all the things that you've learned about her, and all the things that you've come to love in her. And so as we offer this prayer, we have trusted in God as we have prayed together. There is sadness, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we will see Nancy again and enjoy her friendship. As we disperse, may the mercy of God gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Nancy in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with you on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon Nancy in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, Nancy. Help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our sister forever. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Saints of God, 
Come to Nancy's aid. Hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. May Christ who called you, Nancy, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal rest grant unto you, and let perpetual light shine upon you forever. In peace, let us take our sister to her final place of rest.